Welcome to a 1UP 3D Blender tutorial. This tutorial is going to be part of a series where we're going to make a simple game. Um, we're going to be doing movement in this tutorial, so we'll get started on that. We'll be fine here with the block. We'll move it up, maybe scale it down a little bit. We're going to add a plane. Move this. I moved the cursor, so we'll just go to Object and Snap and cursor to center if I want to keep it there and I'll scale this up in texture mode I'm going to change this color so we can keep track of it better down a little bit to I'll just change it to red you can change it or orange and I'll change this to blue there we go all right We'll select the box. We're going to change this from timeline to logic editor. We'll zoom in on this and make this larger. I'm going to add a sensor keyboard. Name this one up or whatever works for you. And we're going to use the up arrow. We're going to add an and controller and a motion actuator. I'm going to connect these by dragging this dot over to there. Just like playing connect the dots like this. Alright, and we're going to go on the Y axis here, and we'll put movement um, point 0.5 up, and we'll test that. It's a little bit much for the size that w of platform we have here, so we'll put it to 3. All right. Now we're going to go to our left and right. There may be cases where you want to make these movement just like the other ones on the x-axis, but for this case we're going to make it rotation. Alright. So, in the motion we'll go to the z-axis here, and for right we'll put negative 1. Make sure it's negative, you'll probably go the wrong way. If it's not, we'll test that real fast just to make sure by pushing P. Yep, we're turning to the right. So now we'll add the left. Sorry, I get lost sometimes. I like to name them just so I can keep track of what everything is. Otherwise, you end up searching through everything if you have a complicated game. Alright, we'll put one there. And as you can see now, we can rotate left, rotate right, move forward in whichever direction. And if you notice, when we go off of this, we're not falling. Uh, most cases you're going to want your character to be, to be able to fall. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the physics panel. We're going to make sure that we're in Blender game. And we're changing physics type to dynamic. And now if you watch, you'll fall off. Okay. And you got to be careful sometimes. If you have a comp complicated mesh for your character you can sink into into the floor and that's just going to be your radius that you'll want to turn up until it looks right <coughs> sorry about that and that's about it for this tutorial um, subscribe so you can watch the rest of them when I get them out and have a good day I hope this helped bye